Hi everyone, welcome back to Dreamier. So today's look is on this soft it girl makeup look. It's the perfect everyday makeup look. You want to know how I get this look? Keep on watching. Before I start my makeup, I'm going to use some rice smoothing toner. Smells like candy. I'm using the Majolica Majorca foundation. It's like medium coverage and it's very light and comfortable on the skin. It's not too thick or cakey. Really good if you want a natural base. For concealer today, I'm gonna to be using the Instant Adrienne by Maybelline. I forgot how great this concealer is. I used to use this all the time in high school and it's actually very, very good coverage for those dark circles and any blemishes. And the sponge is like really easy to use. To the plastic, so I'm gonna blend the under eyes with my fingers for more of high coverage. Ooh. Then go in with the beauty blender. If you want higher coverage in a specific area, I really recommend you blending it out with your fingers because it really like does not take away the coverage. I have a bit of redness here bit of concealer and now let's set the face with powder I'm using this peach one it smells really good just get a little bit and pack it off there's an even layer this is a really beautiful like fine mattifying powder some powders would be a bit like blotchy and create uneven like white marks but this one is really fine so don't have to worry too much about that gives a very even finish and these powders are super inexpensive considering like their quality is so good look how beautiful that sets the concealer and foundation it's so good like this is as great as the laura mercier it's like not cakey at all. This powder really mimics like your natural skin finish. I'm gonna get a bigger powder brush. And to know if you've completely set your face is when you press on your skin and it's not sticky or tacky, that means your face is fully set. Today is also gonna be like 35 degrees, so I really need to make sure this makeup is sealed completely. So I totally forgot to put contacts, so I will be right back. I'm wearing the Olens BB Ring One Day Chocker. This one right here. It's a really nice natural brown and it kind of enlarges your eyes a little bit too. And it gives that really like cute natural brown eye look. Yeah, very, very natural. Let's do my eyebrows. For the brows and this like soft big girl look, I like to brush the fronts up, the tail and the middle part. I like to brush it down to give that softer, more like innocent look. Gives it more of that like puppy look. Let's do the eye makeup. So the main like focal point of this eye look is a cute like winged eyeliner and a subtle agisol shimmer. For the eyeliner, I'm going with the Kat Von D dark brown liner. I really really like this eyeliner because it's a nice dark brown and it's super waterproof. Oh, it's actually made in Korea. I did not know that. This eyeliner has that slight cute curve, but it's quite short. The wing isn't too long for that really cute effect. So once the eyeliner is done, I'm gonna use the Full Shot Hidden Contour and grabbing this darkish grayish brown for the Aggie Cell. Created a little shadow. I'm gonna bring it out here. Add a bit of that shade right on my lower lash line, just the front part. Grabbing the Peri Para Eye Stick, I'm gonna use the brightening side and brighten the center here. Just like that. 
grabbing more of the grey shade I used for my Agasol and I'm going to shadow this section. Let's make it a little bit sparkly with the other side of the stick. Now let's curl the lashes. This lash curler gives the most beautiful natural curl. Like, it's so fluffy. Mascara today, I'm using the Heroin Make Black Mascara. And I like to wiggle through the tips of the lashes very slowly. This elongates the lashes and makes it super long. And I'm gonna do just a really subtle amount of mascara on the bottom. And that is it for the eye makeup. And I'm gonna use some brow gel. These brows in place. So moving on to the rest of our face, let's first lightly contour it. The blush today I'm using the Can Make Flower Blush. The detailing of this blush is so pretty. It gives the most beautiful natural blush. Not only that it's pink, it has a bit of like the purpley tones, which our skin and flush naturally has. It really complements like pink tones in our skin. It has these two shades that add nice glow and illumination. And I'm gonna lightly dust it on my middle cheek here and then like a little bit on my cheekbone. Focusing the product here it makes it look very cute style. I'm obsessed with can make blushes now. So pretty. Put a bit on my nose. To brighten like darker areas of my face, I'm using a pale like foundation powder with a sponge. I'm gonna place it on those sections that I want to brighten. I don't know if you guys can see on camera, but it makes such the biggest difference. Can you see that? And it kind of gives that like smoothing effect. in here as well doing this really polishes the face it's like the perfect finishing touch to the makeup it kind of adds like that brightening smoothing effect that you'd want on like an editing app now to add a bit more glow and shine back to the face can make highlighter with my blush brush i like to use my finger for my nose because it gives a more high pigment and concentrated amount so now for the lips, going in with the MAC Lip Liner in Whirl, I'm going to lightly overline my top lip. And I like to overline this bottom center, but I will not overline from here to here. And I'm going to get a little flat brush and blur out my line. Over powder residue, I'm going to diffuse this section and these edges. For today's lip color, I'm using the Laka and Co. It's so so moisturizing and gives the most beautiful like sheen to the lips. This is like my favorite product. It smells like berries. So beautiful. It's the perfect natural pink shade. It gives such a nice, beautiful, thin layer. The most natural, like, juicy, kind of wet, glossy look. It's that perfect everyday lip product when you don't know what color to wear. This is like a shade that you can just go to and slap on. It kind of gives that, like, moisturizing, gloss look without the product being purely just pink pigment. Gives that really glossy, juicy lip look. And I'm mainly focusing the product in the center of the lips, not really outlining the edges. Lightly blend it out. Gives such a beautiful color. So pretty. I'm gonna finish off by setting the face with the Charlotte Tilbury spray. That is it for the makeup look. Bye guys!